My name is Professor Mary Horgan and I'm Dean of the School of Medicine at University College Cork. Welcome. The School of Medicine here has a long tradition of medical education, with the school being founded in 1849. We have a progressive and enlightened curriculum with early patient contact from the first few weeks of the programme. Our teaching hospitals are predominantly located in the Cork City region. Cork University Hospital, which is our flagship hospital, is located within a 10 minute walk of the medical campus and is the only level one trauma centre in Ireland. Well, you know, I'd love to go back and take the graduate entry course because that course is really the culmination of a number of years of many of us working together thinking, how would we design a course in medicine if we were to go back and, and do one? And I think the graduate entry course is the product of that. It's really tailored to your adult learner who has life experiences, really committed to studying medicine. From day one, we have small group focus, it's based around your common clinical scenarios and we bring in all the various subjects and disciplines from week one, day one. It's built around a patient presentation and you learn the foundations and the science underpinning problem solving in medicine, treatment and management in medicine. And we start as we mean to go on. The course starts day one just like that. Currently construction is underway for a state-of-the-art simulation centre which will allow the student to experience technology-enhanced learning at the cutting edge. Another way in which we support our students in securing their residencies at home is through the opportunity to undertake overseas clinical attachments during the penultimate year of the programme. This provides students with the opportunity to work in the clinical environment in which they will ultimately train but also to make connections and to gain references from those institutions, which is very important in terms of securing a residency. During the penultimate year, students have the opportunity to spend three of seven clinical attachment blocks overseas. I'm living in Shears Gate, and it's beautiful. Uh, we all have our own bathrooms. Uh, it's a safe area, there's places to leave your bike. There's a brook, a babbling brook outside. The accommodations at Shearsgate, I've really enjoyed. Uh, the, the staff there does a lot to really make sure that you don't have to worry about, the, about where you're living. Everything is, is so convenient and so prepared for you between the furniture, um, you know, television, everything that they have set up previously, it just makes everything very convenient so that I can focus on what it is that I've come here to do and that is succeed in medicine. The, the transition from Vancouver to Ireland was um, a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. UCC accepts students from every discipline which is fantastic. I come from an arts and humanities background and actually found it surprisingly easier than I had thought to fit in. Um, there's people coming from engineering, arts, every kind of background that you can think of, which has, it, it's added to the class, it's been great. It's been a really enjoyable experience, far, f far quicker and smoother transition than I ever anticipated. The program is spectacular and if you want to study medicine, um, Ireland is training you alongside its own doctors, so they're giving you the best of what they have to offer. Um, and they have a fabulous medical system here. In UCC, I know that we have um, quite early clinical exposure, which for me is kind of the real reason that I came here. Um, for me, there's a lot of kind of hands-on learning and great experience within the hospitals. Uh, I really love the graduate entry program in UCC. It's something that in the preclinical years really suited my style of learning. The emphasis is on self-direction and that's always something that I valued and it's much different from my previous degree. Um, the clinical years have been very enjoyable and very um, helpful towards developing my skills um, both practically and intellectually as a future cl clinician and it's, uh, it's, it's been a great four years. It's something that I've really, really enjoyed. It's just really well organised from administration up to our DOR classes. Everything is, is really run to a T. Uh, we have small group learning. So there's, it's really diverse in the way that it's taught. And I always feel that you've got people to fall back on if you have any problems. 
be it administrative problems or problems with the classes, lecturers are really supportive and it is really well organised. It's a nice small kind of community, it's really good. Um, a beautiful library in Brookfield, again lots of natural light, um, great new computers, um, lots of study space. And we also have tutorial rooms um, in Brookfield, both for clinical, so they'll have the you know, hospital beds in there, examination type rooms, practice mannequins. That's all in Brookfield. We also have really big classrooms with plenty of space. Then in Western Gate Building is where we have the Flame Lab. So in the Flame Lab we have our DR sessions, our dissecting room sessions. Having the opportunity to meet with patients so early on is not an opportunity that you see as much in the States. And so that was something that I knew for me that as much as I'm enjoying the sciences, it was the opportunity to meet patients, to really get my hands on and to, to be engaged in the medicine, the, the practical application of it, that when I first heard about the GEM program, was very attractive from the get-go. The opportunities to do electives for students are readily available. Um, now as, uh, as the program has progressed, you can actually do two of your core electives um, in your third year overseas. And so this is an added advantage to students who ultimately need to make contacts and uh, start down the road of uh, achieving a residency placement uh, abroad. We're also very excited by a new development in the past year where we are now providing students with opportunities to undertake Erasmus exchanges. Specifically, we now have a relationship with the University of Lille where in the second year of graduate entry or third year of the direct entry programme, students can spend eight weeks on clinical placement in a hospital in Lille. As someone whose ultimate career goals involve training in the U.S. It's important uh, for me and it will be important for any other student to do training um, overseas um, and electives are the first step in that. Um, I was able to do two electives um, in California during my uh, third year um, as a graduate entry student. Um, additionally, I was able to do an elective in London um, at a children's hospital during the summer and UCC has been very, very helpful in that regard. They provided additional lectures for us when we were studying for the Step 1. They've provided um, Q banks free of charge for the Step 1 and the Step 2 CK. These are all really important resources that as students are, it's a great help to, to have the university's support and continued interest. Um, not only that you take the exam, but that you do well. Our students do very, very well in the Canadian licensing exams, the American licensing exams and actually exams all over the world. All of the students at UCC carry out a final year research project and many of these can be presented at international and national conferences and have the opportunity to be published as well. I've got some background in research from my undergraduate degree in Canada and so it was important for me to get involved in some research here during my medical degree. Um, I was involved over the summer with some work in the Alimentary Pharmabiotic Center which is a top class research facility. Uh, UCC has a number, of, a number of good research facilities. This summer I was awarded the Shore Award, which is the Summer Undergraduate Research Experience Award. This afforded me to stay here in Cork and work alongside the Department of Obstetrics and Gynaecology and the Department of Epidemiology. I am looking at the health service use of women with preeclampsia. The gym here, the Mardike, is amazing. Um, it has everything. The classes are all free. Membership is free, which is great. Um, and also just being able to run in the city. Um, it's actually quite a nice city for that. There's lots to do, loads of activities, loads of outdoorsy kind of things, um, especially in the greater county itself. So there's surfing, rock climbing, hiking, mountain biking, all that sort of stuff. One of the ladies in the lab that I was working in organized a relay team for a triathlon. Um, so I was able to do a bike portion of a local triathlon, which was a great opportunity to see some of the local countryside and uh, to meet some new people and do something active outside of medicine. But the Mardike here at the at UCC has terrific facilities, very, very updated, very modern, um, and a lot of opportunities for you to participate in a variety of things um, in terms of multiple workout rooms, a, a wall that I love climbing just to blow off some steam, 
um, a swimming pool, and not to mention all the sports and the recreational activities that is offered by being at UCC. Everything from being involved in, you know, ultimate frisbee to I'm, I'm learning Gaelic football, and I, I, I had no idea what that was going into it. But I have some friends who are willing to take the time and teach me. Hopefully, I survive it. Cork is a great city. It's a lot of fun. Uh, there's a lot of energy here. There's a lot of great things to do. I think Irish people are very friendly. As you know, kind of the saying goes, Irish are really friendly people, outgoing, love talking to people, and it's totally true. There are plenty of things to do in Cork, plenty of things to see, and uh, you, you won't be want for, uh, for activity when you have the time. We have loads and loads of weekends away. We go I mean surfing in La Hinch and um, doing adventure, adventure weekends and um, some of us did the half marathon last year. It's just, it's a really good group, we've really gelled well and I think that's because everybody has made an effort to get to know each other. We have bonded very quickly. So my advice for anyone who is interested in coming here is definitely come here. Um, you will not regret it. Uh, it's been an incredible experience so far and um, something that you won't be able to, would never have gotten if you'd stayed in Canada or the United States. If I could give advice to anyone who is looking into it, it would be to you know, be willing to take that chance, make sure to ask those questions, and really jump headfirst into an experience that could really be life-changing, yes, but terrific in terms of what it is that you need to succeed. We welcome you to visit and see the state-of-the-art facilities yourself. And to be in an, in an environment with students that are very much like me, in which they're coming from something that might be a little bit non-traditional but all who are just as dedicated and just as excited to, as I am to have that top tier level of medical education. Uh, no, I've been very happy with where I ended up. I, I, I consider myself blessed and, and I just keep knowing that I make the right choice. On behalf of myself and the faculty at UCC School of Medicine, I wish to extend you a very warm welcome.